Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to do the differential privacy in federated learning. Before that, I will just explain what is differential privacy. It is nothing but, so in order to protect their own data, they will add some controlled noise to the gradients or updates. That gradient or update is communicated with the global server. So that is the differential privacy. Here you can see the explanation of differential privacy. So now I will just move to how to implement that one in the Google Colab. So I'm going over there. So today I just taken some of the MNAST data set for the classification. Then I will show you how, how to apply the differential privacy uh, to protect the client or user data. So first we loaded the all the library files. So before that I will just uh, show you the output how it's coming. So this is the training. So this is the testing outcome. So here you can see, uh, you can see the test losses, uh, this communication round with the difference, uh, with the different noise multiplier 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.7. So likewise, you can see it for test accuracy also. Uh, you can see the communication round was accuracy. You can see the uh, different noise multiplier like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.7. So uh, we can understand that how it's working for the different noise multiplier. So, so when you apply the different different noises, so uh, we can protect our own data so that the uh, the central server does not know what is the real data or, or what is the raw data. So, I will show you how to implement that one. So, here initially we load our all the library files. So, we also we loaded the MNIST data sets. It has 10, 10 classes, then uh, differential privacy parameters I got given it. Then I designed a just simple, uh, simple model, just taking one, 128 dense snare and the fine uh, 10 is the number of classes. So we took 10 here. Then we just created the clients, uh, client model and they give the optimizer everything. Here we take the data and the splitting for each clients so here we took number of we took number of clients three so that portion is here then weight aggregation defining the function for aggregating the weights then we applied uh, we took three noise multiplies that is 0 0.2 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 uh, then each noise multiplier we just take the on the optimizer uh, that is differ uh, differential privacy kira's sgd optimizer then we combine the model uh, we, we then we share the model for all the clients we took then we took the communication round to five so we now we declared all the parameters now we are going to train it and aggregate it and and sh show the performance how it's pairing for the different different nice multipliers so for the first communication round it's going then going for the first client then this is the first client model then this is the taking for uh, a data for first client and then this is the training this is the aggregation this is the updating the global model with the aggregated weights uh, then this is the model evaluation finally we are just displaying the global accuracy so then once we completed we will uh, we'll plot the data for different noise multiplier what will be the losses value and the what will be the accuracy value so this is the team simple technique we just added some of the noise in order to protect our data uh, uh, so then finally we will see how the loss values and the accuracy will be decreasing how much amount of privacy we will be getting so this is the outcome you can see it here test loss uh, even we apply the different uh, noise multiplier we will be getting the uh, accuracy as nearly 91 and 92 something like that so when you see here the when we apply the low or noise 0 0.2 means we'll be getting more accuracy when you apply 0 0.3 means we'll get 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.92 something like that so when we apply the more noise the accuracy already reduced it is going 0 0.914 so this is the uh, program how to design a differential privacy for data so 
here i just use the mnist data set instead of you can use any data set uh, for your requirements so that will work and it will apply the differential privacy and also uh, the performance may be reduced also you will be getting the better performance with the, uh, better security so this is important for the federated learning i just shown you how to do that one so you can use the same code for your application also so i hope you understood what is differential privacy if any any doubt means you can ask me and you can contact me thank you thanks for watching